Meghan Markle's brother reveals her relationship with dad is now beyond repair. The Duchess of Sussex's fractious relationship with her dad is broken beyond repair with no hope of reconciliation, according to her family. Her feud with Thomas Markle Sr., 74, reached an impasse after he released a private and profoundly emotional letter penned to him by his daughter. Meghan's half-brother Thomas Jr., 52, said, There's no trust between them. The relationship is broken beyond repair. It's so sad to see. In the leaked letter, Meghan admonishes him for failing to attend her wedding last May, telling him he had broken her heart into a million pieces. Addressing him as Daddy, Meghan, who is expecting her first child in April, made a heartfelt plea for him to stop victimizing her after milking her fame with a string of public interviews. And in an attempt to build bridges, she told him she would always love him but was devastated when he responded by asking for a photo shoot with her. Mr. Markle published her letter after his daughter permitted five of her friends to criticize him anonymously in a U.S. magazine last week. Tom added, both of them have to shoulder the responsibility of how a once very loving father, daughter relationship is now so bad it is irretrievable. It will never be the same. I hope I'm wrong, between them. They have made some abysmal choices. Dad has spoken out in public when he should have done it in private. But then for Meghan to sanction her friends to give details about their breakdown is, after all this time, very difficult to understand. Knowing Dad as we do, she knows backing him into a corner only results in one thing, he lashes out. Meg was naive to think otherwise. Editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, Ingrid Seward, said, it is unforgivable of him. It's such an abuse of her trust. I don't think there is any way back. The bombshell letter lays bare the true depths of the Duchess's two-year estrangement from her father. Handwritten in elegant script, Meghan, 37, attacks him for giving press interviews, accuses him of fabricating stories and attacking Prince Harry. The Duchess also scolds her father for siding with her half-sister Samantha, a constant critic of Meghan who appeared to revel in the letter being revealed. On Saturday, hours before it was released, she tweeted, Little PR morons are in for the embarrassment of a lifetime, later adding, Truth always wins. Meghan says in the letter she is abused by Samantha, 54, and is silently suffering at the hand of her vicious lies. She also blasts her father, claiming he made no attempt to contact her, shunned Harry's offer of help and is ungrateful for money she has given him. The retired lighting director denies all her charges. He received the letter at home in Rosarito, Mexico, and kept it to himself for six months. But when her friends echoed her claims in a magazine, he felt compelled to defend himself. He said, I was expecting something that would be a pathway to reconciliation. Instead, it was deeply hurtful. I was so devastated I couldn't show it to anyone and never would have had it not been for the events of last week. Meg has written tons of letters and cards over the years. She always signed off with love or love you. This is cold. When she signs off, it's Meg. It felt like a final farewell. The Duchess's letter accuses him of asking for money. It says, you've said I've never helped you financially and you've never asked for help. Also untrue. You sent me an email last October that said, if I've depended too much on you for financial help then I'm sorry, but please, if you could help me more not as a bargaining chip for my loyalty. The Duchess adds, if you love me, as you tell the press you do, please stop, please allow us to live our lives in peace. In response, Mr. Markle said, Megan's given me cash gifts occasionally but I never begged or asked. It was a couple of grand here or there. He is also angry about the Duchess's claims he made money out of her. I've only accepted a few payments, he says. If I'd taken all the offers I've had, I could have made $600,000. I haven't done that. The Duchess goes on to scold her father for failing to tell her he would not walk her down the aisle at Windsor Castle. He suffered a heart attack days before leaving him hospital-bound amid revelations he cashed in on staged pictures with the paparazzi. It led Prince Charles to step in at the last minute. She writes, You've told the press that you called me to say you weren't coming to the wedding, that didn't happen because you never called. But Mr. Marco claims he both called and texted as soon as I knew. He believes Harry helped his wife write the letter because it describes him as being down a rabbit hole. He said, Americans don't know what the hell down the rabbit hole means. Apparently it's to do with Alice in Wonderland. You Brits use it. That feels like pure Harry. Royal expert Ingrid agreed. I feel the hand of Harry on this, 
she said. If you look back at the history of Harry and Meghan, he clearly is very angry. She wouldn't do it without his collaboration. Father-to-be Prince Harry made his first public appearance since Meghan's letter was revealed at Twickenham today to see England thrash France 44-8 in the Six Nations.